so it's very very important that we get this thing going summer in sweden warm and beautiful but also dangerous forest fires can flare up anywhere this summer it's up to swedish vfr to go sky high and report every fire they detect to the government. Look at this beauty! The Piper Sherry Tea! This beauty, beauty marks. Yes, there has been some news that there are some risks for forest fires. And since it's uh, kind of windy, somewhere it can uh, spread pretty quick. It can, so it's very... Very important that we get this thing going. What's the mission for today? Do some forest fire assignment. And uh, before we do anything for the government, we need to install the GoPros. So this is our survival bag. We got water. We got some uh, snacks, moose sausage. And we got some uh, reindeer sausage. <laughs> Very important. And some bananas. Uh, nice. And some tuna. Oh. Another bag. Snickers and some uh, lighter and some needles and some uh... peeing bags. If you drink too much water, you will need the peeing bags. Usually, you don't drink water on a three hour flight. Of course, if you're in a big Boeing uh, 737 or an Airbus or something like that, but when you're in a small Piper and you need to go, you just can't use the lavatory. So, let's do the Eftermintas toilet and uh, go up. Yes. See you in the sky. See you in the sky. Day two, three new more, three more hours. Just look at this view. It is nice. It is splendid and it's nice. It's a hard balance because you need to stay hydrated but not too hydrated, so you need to go and pee. Usually we don't want to drink on these uh, kind of assignments. Yeah, it's a risk. <laughs> I didn't want to take a risk. Three hour flight. You don't want to have to pee for three hours stuck in the plane. It's three hours without possibility, possibility to pee. Except in a bag. <laughs> The main mission for these fire flights is of course to find if there are any fires in the forest. So you look to the left and you look to the right and you see if there are any. And every 30 minutes or so you do this um, 
circulation where you fly around in a circle and you see if there are any fires. Okay, I'm going to do a right turn. Okay, I'm ready to watch for the brands. Watch for the brands. That's good. For, that's good for Sweden. There were no fires. Very exciting. I had to drink. Oh, take the risk. I, I needed to. I was so dehydrated. If you don't drink, you just feel dizzy and uh, tired. Robin took the decision to drink the water, but I took the decision to stay dry so I didn't have to pee. So I sit there thirsty. For sure drinking a lot. <laughs> I have to. So when you're flying in these kind of uh, fire assignment missions for three hours, you really need to go to the toilet before and not drink too much coffee <laughs> and not, not so much water but I had I had to <laughs> and I don't regret it in a second there's a lot of windmills there <laughs> Even though it's windy, everything is stunning still. Yeah, I think it's uh, like no wind uh, at uh, 200 feet. But here is very windy. Look. So much wind. Look at those fluffy clouds. What a happy cloud. It's still snow there. Do you see any fires? No, I see only snow. Do you see any fires? No fires today. And on final, we came down like astronauts from space. It felt like we went 90 degrees downwards.
Perfect landing. <laughs>